I'm Mari. I work for a um, on trade team in Corny and Barrow. I think for me, one of the very Christmassy drinks is mulled wine. I think I'd use something um, something quite fruity, a red wine, obviously, but um, something quite fruity, not too tannic. And I wouldn't go for the cheapest because you wouldn't probably want to drink the cheapest wine anyways. Why would you want to sort of drink it with your spices and heat it up? Same thing, I suppose. I'd go for something mid-range, maybe something like Cotterone, if you want to check our website and have a look at uh, what we've got on Christmas offer. But I think something, yeah, lighter. Um, obviously, you add all the spices, whatever you like. You have cloves, cinnamon sticks. Um, what I normally do, I put all the spices in the wine at the same time um, and slowly heat the wine up and don't let it boil because otherwise it just burns the alcohol and uh, ruins the wine. But a new trick I learned recently, I add a little bit of white wine, so maybe one third of white wine, uh, and it sort of lightens it up and makes it, makes it quite tasty. So that's my mulled wine recipe. When you have a Christmas day and you want a glass of nice aperitif, everybody probably would go for a glass of champagne. But if you want to try something different, and um, maybe not a champagne cocktail, but some other bubbly cocktail, I'd use something a little bit cheaper, but equally good. Um, if you don't want to use champagne, you can either either use Prosecco or you can use, we have um, Cognimbero Blanc de Blanc. So it's a different region, a little bit cheaper, but it's really, really nice, uh, light, bubbly. Uh, and what you can do, you can take some fresh peaches, puree them and add to the to the sparkling wine and you get a lovely, uh, lovely peach bellini. Whatever you're drinking over the Christmas, whether um, it's mulled wine or champagne cocktails or just a normal wine, um, have a look at our um, Christmas shop on our website, which is www.cornianbarrow.com.